Welcome to Quoth Quan Cemetery. Let's go in. That's quite that's quite a good one now, what do you think, ladies and gentlemen? That was really good. Like, oh we should we should have looked at this first, guys. Look this is why I bring this this tall guy with me, see? He's the gate opener and the speaker. Help. <laughs> But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't, I couldn't fund this place, but there you go. It's, I had to use the sat nav to get here, but there we go. There's the opening times. I, it was a friend, Alex Hanna, that told me about this place. So this is for you, Alex. Let's see, what's this? Frames or something? Oh well, there you go. So guys, we'll have a walk through the cemetery, but first I'm going to go to the chapel because. I'll, we'll do the what do you think we'll do the cemetery last yes. the graveyard last I mean it's not a cemetery it's a graveyard what that strange looking thing is there yellow that's your the notice board is that what that is yeah, that. so that. we'll go into the we'll get into the chapel area first and have a little look round about and then we'll walk around the graveyard that's quite an interesting one yeah Turn the anyway, guys, as I was saying, I accidentally turned the press the rang button there. <laughs> but let's let's go into the the chapel first, guys, and uh, have a wee look around about this place because it's it's a very interesting place. Now, we'll, I'm thinking chapel, and there then we'll do the graveyard itself. Yes. In memory, here you go, Alan. Where's my Where's my interpreter here? <laughs> uh, Alexander Nicol for top. Uh, the family co cover covers a faith servant servant and the faith of the Craig Chancellor of Shield Hill who died 22nd of March 1859. 1859? This place is quite old, isn't it? What is that? I mean it's Ooh. Right, we'll get these gravestones in before we go up to the top here. There's a wee metal plate down there, see that? That's right. There's another one there. Is that my... There's a kind of feed plant over there, guys. I can't do nothing about the noise. It's, it's. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but this is quite interesting. Uh, in the memory, sacred in the memory of John Daniel Coyer, who died at Haperfield on 11th of January 1855, aged 33 years. In love the memory of William John McCoyer, solicitor late of London, born at Cormiston Towers, 6th of July 1869, died at Bigger, 24th of February 1951, aged 81. Bye, well be done. In, Liz, in memory of Eliza Bateman, wife of William Daniel Coyer of Gormiston, she died at Kerswell, 24th November 1862, aged 35 years, also in lovely memory of the above, William Daniel Collier of Cormiston, who died 14th October 1897, aged 73 years, and Jane Scott Mine, his widow, who died 22nd of May 1900, aged 60 years, the memory of the just is blessed. Thank you very much, Alan. And if you're wondering what the knocking is, it's that place over there, it's making all the bangs and crashes, and we would shut the gate, but there's no much left yet, you know. Anyway, this is very interesting. This, but look at the, the old stonework in here. Oh, look at this. You've got loads to read, darling. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, no. Look at the old bell. God. Oh, it feels weird in here. Come on, Anne. Oh, come on, Anne. Nah, yeah. I'll be fine. We'll get, we'll, get, we'll get Alan coming in the door there. I mean, you're quite a tall person. It must have been quite weird, ladies. Ah, uh, but that's what you call talent. Hmm. Shall we do this one first? Look at that, right, the okay. crest there, that's beautiful, isn't it? My goodness. Well, that's the H Martin. S. H S. S P B T. Resurrect. 
Resurrections, Daniels. Oh my goodness. You don't need what? to read it if you can't read it, Alan, because it's Latin. It's Latin. It's Latin, guys. So we can't speak Latin. Alan can't speak Latin. So if any of you can speak Latin, there's a chance. Just pause to read, okay? I don't think they're all in Latin, to be purely honest with you. What's this one? This one, Latin. Isabella uh, Aldolphus Ross, the beloved wife of George John. John George. Chancellor Esquire of Shield Hall, who died 27th April 1863, aged 37 years, he hath put a new song in my mouth, even praise unto God, Psalm uh, XL5. That's, that's a verse for the Bible, isn't it? Yeah, that's, a <clears throat> that's one I can't even read. Of Walfred George, son of the Reverend James the Chancellor. Born 31st of January 1876, died 22nd of June 1936. In memory then, of Nigel Chancellor, OBE, 9th of September 1916 to 27th of April 1993, son of uh, Walfred Chancellor. That name's familiar. I don't know who. Uh, right. In memory of Anne Isabella Hare, uh, the beloved wife of John George Chancellor, Squire of Shield Hall, who died 21st September 1871, aged 36. One thing is Needful's look, it's fair uh, look, the chapter of look, look. And their son John Stuart here, Chancellor Jot born 5th of September 1871, died 9th of July 1933, and his wife Amelia Herietta Purvis born 10th of July 1893, died 12th of April 1944. Thank you, best. And look at this, Alan, you've only got this big one. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. In memory of Alexander Chancellor, Squire of Shield Hill, born 12th of August, 1778, died 18th of October, 1841, and his children, Jane Elizabeth Chancellor, born 9th of January, 1837, died 1st of July, 1839. Mary Forbes, Chancellor, wife of Captain George uh, C. Collier, Madras engineers, born 3rd of February 1823, died at uh, Gullis 4 in India, 21st of May 1848. Alexander Chancellor, Captain Her in Her Majesty's 75th Regiment of Foot, born uh, 29th of May 1827, died at Kusubali in uh, India, 4th of October 1857, of wounds received at the Siege of Delhi. Helen Barbara, Chancellor, wife of Hugh Mossman, Esquire of Oxter uh, Fartle, born the 10th of January 1833, died the 30th of July 1866. George Chancellor as well, uh, born 7th of September 1825, died the 4th of April 1875. Frederick Hugh, Chancellor RA, born 20th, 20th of April 1824, died 26th of November 1882. And Reverend James Chancellor, born 18th of June uh, 1830 died 22nd of December uh, 1889. John George Chancellor of Shield Hill, born 27th uh, September 1821, died 18th of March 1994. Edward Chancellor, born 27th September 1828, died 30th April 1907. And Henry Alexander Robertson Chancellor, born 4th of September 1841, died 1st of April 1918. Thank you very much, Alan. That's um Take some air in, take some air in. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Put below what you think Alan's uh, great reading, because I would just make a total mess of it's that. It's fantastic, I think I'll put a real day, put it off. We'll actually get some close-ups of the, the bell tower in a minute. Just going to move the ivy out of the way here. In memory of Isabella Ross Chancellor, who died 13th of June 1876, aged 15 years, oh. safe in the hands of her god. At least something up. See the wee... Wee gravestone. Mm -hmm. There we go. He's a, there's a lot of chancellors on here, isn't there? There must be a kind of family. Uh, well, in memory of uh, Adolphus James Chancellor, Public Works Department, India, who died of cholera near uh, Berha, more, 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 uh, 11th of December 1877, aged 25 years, die will be done. Mm. Here's another one. There we go. I'll try and hold this out of the way. For... Okay. There must have been a cross there, see that? My shite is contained, huh? So, in memory of George Chancellor, born 7th of September 1820, died 14th of 20th, uh, April 1875, their son, 
of Alexander Chancellor of uh, Shield Hill. I, I will uh, owe well in the house of the dwell in the house of the Lord forever. His remains are interred in the, the Dean of uh, the Dean Cemetery in Edinburgh. Hmm? You've only got two left. Well, three if you, well, maybe four if you look at each one. What, you know? It's four, don't say three. <laughs> <laughs> George, George, John George Chancellor died 15th of March 1834, age 72, absent from the body, present with the Lord. Uh, Cecilia Elizabeth Balfour of Chancellor, his wife died 3rd of January 18, 1909, age 79, much loved. And there's a wee kind of angel. That's right. Hey, we've only got one minute to go on, and then you can have you can have a sweet eh? What do you think, ladies and gentlemen? We'll give him a sweet eh when he gets back to the car. Aye. Uh, you know. An out of date sweet <laughs> In memory of <laughs> Alexander <laughs> Chancellor of Shield Hill, born 12th of August 1778, died 18th of October 1841. And Helen Hamilton Robertson, his wife, daughter of Hugh Robertson, CS, born 13th September 8, 1797, died 13th of March. 1872. Was it erected by their children? So that's, that's obviously their children. What's that say at the bottom? Is that blessed are the, blessed are the, the dead? dead which die in the Lord? Right. Look at the workmanship that's went into that. They must have spent a lot of time in India. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. At one time, this this church was um, would be teeming with a kind of family. I wonder if this was like the. I wonder. How long ago? I'm going to have to see if I can dig up any information in this before I upload this, guys, because I didn't know it was to this extent, because Google Maps don't really show the church itself. I mean, look at that. There's the, the bell. The bell inscribed with markings on it as well. Hey, you climb up, Alan, and read it for me. Ah, uh, can I reach that, man? <laughs> so anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you liked, liked this section. We're going to take you outside now. We're going to do anti-clockwise around the building. And we've got to show you some of the really old gravestones. And I'm just really sorry about the noise, guys. It's like a feed plant or something that's in there. I can hear like cows mooing away and stuff. You hear the, the crows? I mean, it's quite, quite creepy, that, isn't it? Here we get some snowdrops coming up, guys. And a, a rabbit. Maybe snowdrops. Nice. That's a big one that's fell down there. Oh, there's some more plaques in there, Alan. Isn't that a treat for you? Oh, goody gumdrops. Um, you'll get a sweetie, you'll get a travel sweetie, guys. Yeah, I've got a couple of tons of travel sweeties there. My mum bought me a ton of travel sweeties, and Alan likes them, you know. That's, yum, that's yum. what counts, you know. Yum, yum. Now we'll do this one first. Erected in the memory of James uh, Grossart, my son, who was accidentally killed uh, on the uh, 5th of December 1885, aged 20 years. God, this is quite a really old graveyard, actually. I mean, <clears throat> John Whiston, the member of his daughter Cecilia, died April, April 1888. See all the bits of broken tile everywhere? Right. Must have come off the roof of that place. I bet you at one time you could ring that. See what I mean? There's still a rope on there, see that? That's right. 1952, these gates must have been put here. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll do these ones first. Oh, look at that, that's Christopher John. That's this. My name, Christopher. You know. Oh, I, Christopher ah. John, Chancellor of Shield Hill, 29th of March 1904, 9th of September 1989. Husband of Sylvia Mary Paget. Paget. That's a beautiful one. Look at that. Oh, hey. Never seen a screen stone like that before. That's that's really nice, isn't that, it? Nice. That's, that's for India to see the. So that uh, is. I'm going to take some pictures of this actually. Get a look. Tenant uh, Colonel Sir John Robert Chancellor GCMG GCVO GBE DSORE of Shield Hill, 20th of October 1870 to 31st of July 1952, uh, and his wife Elsa, 8th of March 1881 to 11th of November 1976.
Thank you very much. Anne. We'll come back here after we've done the filming and I'll take some pictures because I, I, obviously I've got friends that would actually like that because it's military. Oh, so right. it's quite interesting that with the, the crest. Mm -hmm. I'll get that up right. The, I'll get a close look at that actually because um, I've got friends that would be really interested in that. Yep. Anyway, let's go over this side. Okay. Look at this one. Oh. It's got the kind of like eagle or something on it. That's Polish. Is that what that is? Oh, it's uh, French. French. Uh, J. Sermonte, a member of David Chancellor, born 25th of June 1913, died 16th of July 1955, second son of Wilfred Chancellor. That's a beautiful stone, isn't it? I mean, look. Mm -hmm. Look at the workmanship that's went into that. Oh, definitely. It's beautiful. This has got to be longer than half an hour, this video, because this graveyard's extremely interesting. Mm -hmm. In memory of... Uh, Major uh, Arthur Chancellor, uh, O.O. Game Cameron Highlanders, uh, third son of Edward Chancellor, born 6th of January 1872, died the 4th of November 1951. Thank you very much, Alan. Thank you. Look at the, the tomb there. It's a very peaceful graveyard, this, isn't it? It is, it is. Hmm. It's quite an interesting one. Uh, beneath are deposited that. If you come closer, because it just shows the microphone picture. Okay, okay. Beneath the, are the, the deposited the ashes of Margaret Rosa Passe, a wife of Alex Stretcher, Chancellor, CBE, died at Bournemouth, 3rd of January 1945, aged 70 years and of Alexander Richard Chancellor, a CBE, eldest son of Edward Chancellor, W.S. of Edinburgh, born 3rd of June 1869, died the 21st of April 1939. Thank you very much. Is that 1939? It looks like it. 59. Said, no, 59, 59, so 59. Here's one here, but it doesn't really have that much markings on it, which is quite interesting. Mm -hmm. Which is kind of blank there. That is. In memory of Harry. Harry Chancellor, youngest son of Edward Chancellor, born the 8th of February 19, 1874, died the 3rd of May 1942. Must, uh, there's a lot of military here, isn't there? There is, aye. It's just off the same family. A lot, there, must been, there must have been right into the... In memory of uh, Henry Alexander Robertson, Chancellor of uh, Newton, Son of Alexander, uh, Chancellor of Shield Hill, born the 4th of September 1941, died 1st of April 1915. Oh, 1841, sorry. 1841. Hey, we're nearly there, guys. And I'm going to ring that bell, my man. There's the bell. It's a shame it's that's not there because we could have rung that. That would have been quite good, that. Right. A member of Frederick H. Uh, Chancellor Ari died 26th of November 1882, age 58, and of Emily Ann Smythe, his widow, died the same of December 1890. Lesson of the pure in heart, blessed, for they shall be see God. It's the same one again, look at that, it's got no markings on it whatsoever, except at the very bottom there, in memory of. Edward Chancellor, son of Alexander Chancellor of Shield Hall, eh, born the 22nd of September 1828, died 30th of April 1907. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, is it too much? <laughs> I'm smoking cigarettes. Ah, you've only got one minute to go, Alan. You've only got one minute. Here we go. Mate, look at this. In loving memory of, of Elizabeth eh, Blanche, wife of Major General John God. Eh, Wolf Keogh. Uh, and the eldest daughter of the late John George, Chancellor of Shield Hill, he died 3rd of April 1910. There's a lot of soldiers in here, there's like, there's like generals and colonels and majors. And That's right. Yes. Absolutely asto astonishing in here. Okay. Right, last one. <coughs> in loving memory of Dickie, uh, only child of Alexander Richard, Chancellor born 27th of May 1910, died at somewhere. September 23rd, May 1911. Right, thank you very much. 
So we'll leave this bit of the graveyard. That very interesting place. You can see the food plant over the. It must be a feed plant for the uh, cattle. It is. It is. Um, that's. I'm. We'll come back here and take some pictures. Obviously, GRC. See that? That's right. Chris. This is absolutely stunning. Here we'll come come back here and take some pictures as the wind does say. But I didn't realise this place was such like a gold mine uh, history in here. Oh, I sure is. Um, see the wee crosses in the back of the stones in that one. Mm -hmm. See that. Yeah. Well, anyway, let's. You don't need to read them all, out, Alan. We'll just do uh, some of them because there's some of the gravestones that are extremely old. Or everybody can just pause their TVs yep. or uh, whatever they're using to view. Because that's what I do at night. Uh, that's I just watch it back on the TV. Okay. I and mean, look at this one. That's quite. Look at that. Need skull and Angel. You know, we've got another church to go to after this one, guys. Good. Yeah, but Alan will have to be replenished before his his journey. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's Latin or something like that. That's just ah. that's seventeen something at the very bottom, seventeen seventy six or something like that. Oh what happened in seventeen seventy six? Was that no the American Revolution? Was just that? a year after it. A year after it, aye. Remember guys, just pause. This is a stunning graveyard. Thank you very much, Alex, for telling us about this one. Can't really see what's on that one. There's there is, it's, it's got like a, like an angel or something on it. Yeah, I have a small child, oh, I see that child in here. I'll just get these ones in the bottom because they're kind of all worn. Uh, we're working our way along, zigzag. Now, the, the, the church we're going to after this has got the same name, I think, but um, it's just a modern one from, the I think, the 1900s or something. Remember guys, please, uh, if you're new to the channel, give a subscribe, it helps support the channel. Uh, we've also got some links in the the chat, uh, in, the, in the, what is it, the chat section of the channel that oh. you should check out. Okay. Uh, help support the channel too. The more subscribers I get, the more places I'll go. I mean, there's so many little graveyards around about here. I mean, there's some ones that were used by the Templars and stuff near Edinburgh, which we'll be going to, you know, so. <laughs> so look here. We'll get the ones there last. Because we've done. Some feet plants. You can see, is it, I don't know if you'd smell a cat, a smell a thorn, or you can oh, smell that. It. Yep. It's kind of like beefy smell, isn't it? It's weird. It's, there's nothing on that one. In there. I've had requests for people asking me to read out every single grave, but guys, I've got I've got another church to do after this one's, which is like twice the size of this place so it's, it's, it's a bit difficult you know if it was the summer time it wouldn't be so bloody bad <laughs> you know it just been my hay fever hearing me sneeze away all day What's the date on this one? This one looks... Can't even read it. Can't even read it. Oh, let's, uh, let's get that. This is like a skull. And then it's like a... What's, what do you call egg them? A, a, an egg timer kind of thing. See that? That's, that's very interesting, that. I'm oh, sorry, guys. There's a big tractor going past. Quite a farming community here.
1764 that one there Right guys What do you think Alan? Do you think that'll do now? I think so Christopher, yes uh, We've done down here, we'll just get these kind of... I was just watching that lorry there go past my car on the side of the main road <laughs> okay, <we're sighting> <sighs> I think that's nearly us guys that's the because i don't like doing these any longer than like uh, maybe you know so alan what's the name of this place again <laughs> it's quad corn cemetery yeah there's just one more i want to show you guys before i go which is a very interesting place um And then that's us. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. Could you please uh, subscribe, share, and give me a wee thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And we'll be going to lots more locations soon. Catch you all later, guys. Bye-bye.